Sogeko. Yes, specifically we give to you that uh, USBK went into a partnership with Sogeko. Sogeko being a uh, Tanzanian um, organization or cooperative that is uh, um, organizing trainings and then especially in the area of agribusiness. Um, this has been a great opportunity for us, uh, technical partners, to learn more about uh, what we are supposed to do with the cooperative, but also what the cooperatives are supposed to do. This has been a great experience with Sujeko. We have been here for two weeks. Uh, we have learned and we have gained, I think, enough skills to also uh, share with our local partners the cooperative and the uh, all of us know that uh, most of the African countries are struggling with jobs for youth. In spite of our uh, many young people that are graduating from our universities, throughout the training session, what we notice there is that um, our young people, even as they graduate, most of them, I would almost say over seventy percent of them have a taste and a liking for technology. And Sugeko has a, a, a noticed or seen an opportunity right there because practically our agriculture is rich. We have water, we have land, we have the resources that are literally needed to help not only create jobs for the youth but also create an opportunity for better food security or for east food security for most of the African population which that we, I mean of which we are seeing struggling. This agribusiness training organized by Sujeko in Morogoro has been very eye-opening. They invited 10 countries from the East African community and others. They taught us very many modules such as good governance, strategic leadership, uh, post-harvesting, and food and safety, uh, food safety and hygiene, so basically better ways to manage your produce and everything. And we plan on taking all this information back and teaching our grantees and training them on how they can better manage their business in terms of finances, record keeping, on how to basically organize themselves if they are cooperative and implement some good governance and constitution and rules to make sure their business runs smoothly. So we cannot wait to go back and basically implement what we learned over there. The knowledge acquired so far will have a transformative effect and impact uh, in, uh, when, when we agree to go and work with these guarantees. You see the technologies that are actually happening uh, with this Sugeko and to see um, the practical part of uh, uh, transferring the technology to uh, small entrepreneurs and the way they're adopting and to understand about all the Ziba, you know, model, business model, that was very, very uh, 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 great. So I do believe that um, uh, the knowledge you acquired by seeing uh, practically what's happening uh, within Sudeco, I think that <laughs> Uh, will have a great transformative effect uh, when we go back and work in classroom. So I would like to thank the United States African Development Foundation and the Sujeko team for organizing this training for us and inviting us.